Hi, Andrew Portes here. I want to talk to you uh, very quickly about Windows Media Center in Windows 8 Pro. Um, as you can see when, uh, from the system window here, um, it used to say uh, with the addition of Windows 8, 8 that I'm running, it used to just say Windows 8 Pro, but now it says with Media Center as well. Um, and the reason for that is because until the 31st of January 2012, Microsoft are giving away um, Windows Media Center for free as it is now a separate add-on for Windows 8 Pro. And uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe the standard cheaper Windows 8, um, you know, which is just called Windows 8 on its own, um, I believe that Media Center will be included, included in Windows 8, but uh, I don't think that uh, standard retail versions of Windows 8 will be available until sometime in January anyway. I think right now at the moment, uh, as of the uh, Windows 8 uh, launch on um, the 26th of October, um, Windows 8 Pro is the only version you can buy, um, but it's the version that I wanted anyway, so I got it. And then, like I say, uh, they are giving away the Windows Media Center for Windows 8 Pro for free. So if I show you where to get it from and, and sort of how to how to put it on there, then um, yeah, let's go for it. So I've got um, a full screen Internet Explorer here. And if you can see the URL there, essentially you've got uh, windows.microsoft.com and then slash and then basically the language bit. I don't know why it says that because really for me it normally says en hyphen gb. But I'm sure if you skip that part of the URL you'll get to the same place. So windows.microsoft.com slash windows hyphen 8 slash feature hyphen packs. I'll um, include a uh, link in the description of this video. But it's going to take you to this page on the Windows website. As you can see here, there's a section about adding Windows Media Center to Windows 8 Pro and the fact for a limited time, i.e. till the end of um, January, they're giving away Media Center for free, as I said. All you do is you type your email address in there and the four characters that you see and then go send my product key and they will send it you in email. And then there is instructions down here on how to actually load it into Windows. I've actually already done this as, as you've seen, but because I've already done this, I can't actually demonstrate how to do it for you in, in this video because it says go to, you know, the, uh, the top right or the bottom right edge of the screen with the mouse to reveal charms. Or if you're on a touch screen device, you can flick in from the right of the screen with your finger you know, you flick in from the right to the left and you get your charms up. You'll click search and then it says to type in add features in the search box um, and then uh, click on settings. But then when I do that, like say if I do that for you now, add features exactly how they type it. So add features. Then I, then I go into settings and uh, n nothing comes up for me. Like this turn Windows features on and off is not actually what you're looking for. You're looking for a thing that's going to say um, add features to Windows 8. But when that comes up, it's going to say uh, two things. And let me go back to the web page because it explains it there. You'll be you'll have two options which says uh, I want which is either I want to buy a product key online or I already have a product key. Now because they're going to email you this product key for the Windows Media Center, you're going to say I already have a product key. Type it in the box uh, that comes up, and then uh, it will literally download and install Media Center for Windows 8 Pro, and then restart your machine. And then it literally will, will be on your start screen. Uh, so for me, I've, I've put it over here. 
Here you can see Windows Media Center. You click on it. It launches as an application in the desktop, just like in previous versions of Windows. The reason why it's taken a while, by the way, is because in order to do this screen recording, I'm actually having to run my boot camp partition as a virtual machine. Should come up momentarily, though. Let's see about launching it again. Typical that it decides uh, to be funny with me. Oh, there we go. But typical it decides to be funny with me when I'm trying to do this video. Let's see if it actually does come up. Here we go. So uh, normally on um, when you launch Windows Media Center for the first time, as you know, there's normally a, a, a setup wizard. Uh, but I've, I've already done this, so it should, in a moment, just come up with the, yeah, the Media Center menu. And again, apologies for it being kind of a bit slow, um, but uh, here it is. And you may notice it's actually not changed from uh, Windows 7, and uh, it's probably not changed from Vista either. But uh, just to show you, if I go into settings and uh, have a lot of patience. Yeah, it is, it is definitely being slow. Uh, I'm running as a virtual machine general and then I can go into uh, about Windows Media Center software version there you go Windows 8 version 6.2 and it gives you some specs of my computer as well uh, my Mac mini so there you go yeah at least though you have Media Center on Windows 8 Pro um, and it has you know all the features that Media Center has again when you when you set it up initially there'll be a uh, setup wizard but it's very easy to understand and it just configures uh, Media Center in an optimum way for your PC uh, and you can close it just like this and uh, yes yeah, so that is um, Windows Media Center for Windows 8 Pro like I said, it is free until the end of January, the 31st of January 2012. Again, there is the web link for Wind the Windows Media Center add-on, where you get it from. I'll put the link in the description of this video. The instructions to install the Media Center onto Windows 8 Pro are also on this page. I just wanted to do a video on it though as well. And so, yeah, this has been Andrew Portes, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.